in Denver, then this was the second, this was the runner up. What's up guys, Jason here at Vapors Vault. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial video on how to prime coils. Um, here in a couple days we're not going to be able to do this for you uh, with the new FDA regulations. So I want to get a couple tutorials up for you guys as a reference. Uh, so when you're at home and can't make it out to the shop and we can't explain it to you, you can just watch this video and uh, prime it right there without burning anything out. So I'm going to be doing the AIO coils, the Cubis coils that come in the Joytech all-in-one kit. And then I will be doing the mouse coils that come in the uh, CCI tank, the mouse. Alright, so let's get down to it. So first we have this Joytech AIO. So it's really easy. You just want to press down, kind of like a child-proof pill bottle. Press down, twist, and it just comes unscrewed. Next, we have our coil right here. This is the 0.6 ohm stainless steel coil. I'm just going to unscrew that. And now, here's this. Here's a coil head. Let's see, there we go. So, as you can see down it, uh, if you can, it's going to be some wire surrounded by cotton. Our goal is to prime that coil up so that cotton is soaked up. So the instruction manual says five drops. Um, use that as a reference. I mean, you can do exactly five drops and hope for the best, but what I do, so I take this, a dropper full of juice, put it right there, and I squeeze probably about that much. And then I just let it soak up. Now you can see it's soaking up in there. You just got to give it some time. Um, since the juice we use is so thick, uh, it's probably going to be a 70-30 blend. It's going to take a minute for that cotton to absorb it. And so we just got to sit there, let it wait. But as that's soaking up, I'm going to get started on that mouse coil. So we just want to unscrew this from the bottom. Get this coil out. So this coil is much bigger. Okay. So the way I prime most tank coils is I go from the inside out. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take my juice, Lieutenant Ladasha by 5-0. It's a really good sticky buns flavor. I'm going to flip the coil on its side. And then I'm just going to leave the coil on its side and slowly squeeze in there and rotate. So I soak the coils from the inside out because if it's soaked on the inside and I can see it start coming through, soaking on the outside, the coil has to be primed. All that cotton has to be soaked. Now you could hit it from the outside, meaning take your dripper and hit this spot and this spot and this spot, but you're not going to know if it's primed on the inside. Sorry, let me refocus it. You can start seeing it soak up. So, it looks like that side soaked. That's soaked up. You can tell this side isn't soaked yet. Half of it isn't. So, it's not ready yet. You want to keep throwing juice in there. Now, you might lose a little bit of juice, but not too much doing it this way. If you go too fast, what's going to happen is it's just going to pour out the bottom. As you can see, it's just a wide open hole. So if you go too fast, it's going to just go in one side and right out the other. So this first coil we were priming, it's probably soaked up, good to go now. So we can just... Screw this in the top. How are you? Good, how are you? Pretty good. 
just like this. And then let's take our juice. And for these AIOs, the fill line, probably can't really see it. Let's see. Can you see it? There it is. You can see that line right here. And then all the flavors are listed on the iPad by vendor and by flavor profile if you want to check it out that way. And whatever you want to try, we have it available in drip or a tank. So it's about halfway full now. Do you want the regular? And then we just shove this back in. Twist it up. Yeah. A dollar more. So that's five ninety nine and four ninety nine. Nice and full. There we go. Now let's come back to this guy. Nice and soaked up. Now since these coils, the uh, mouse coils and even your crown coils or Atlantis coils, um, let's see, your tobacco super tank coils, all those coils, since they take so much juice, what I do now is I over prime them and then I shake them out. So I'm gonna actually take this coil shake it out towards the ground to get all the excess out. If you don't do that, what's going to happen is the juice is going to bubble into your mouth or it's going to leak out the airflow. But I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick, then let's uh, go back out to an outer view. Alright, we're back out on outer view now. Um, so, with a new coil, you don't want to take your full uh, drag like you normally would. So with this guy, I'm going to do a nice easy pull. Kind of just got to work the coil in itself. So open my airflow up. It's good. It's working. Doesn't taste burnt at all. Nice full flavor. Um, it's not very throaty just because I have three milligrams in it, but it's perfect. It's satisfying. It's really good on the go vape. Yeah, and you can always, if you're out this way, come hang out, try all the flavors. Now, this guy. Uh, it's a 0.2 mouse coil. Like I, said, the I normally run it at 80 to 90 watts. I'm going to break it in 30 watts lower just for the first couple of hits. So I'm going to do 60 watts just for the first couple of hits. And this is reading 0.22. I'm not sure if that's focused, um, but 60 watts. Tastes great. I really like this Ladash. Mm. Now I'm going to bump it up to 75. Nice. Did you like the vapor trail? Probably going to leave it at 75 for the next 10-15 minutes and after that, run it as normal. Um, your main goal is to soak that cotton up. As long as the cotton is completely saturated and soaked, just uh, break it in slowly and it should get a week to two weeks, even three weeks out of it. But if you guys have any questions, leave, just leave your comments below. Alright, see you all later.